Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to talk about C tags. C tags is a cool little program I found uh, probably a few months or weeks ago that I found to be really, really useful, not just for managing a large code base, but also for learning a code base or just making it easier to manage it. So we can go man C tags. Uh, you'll might have to install this, but it's it's a lot to read honestly like you don't even really need to read a lot of this to take advantage of a lot of the functionality what you can what you can do is if you write code in a specific language we can do c tags dash dash list dash languages pipe that into less and we can see all the different languages that c tags supports so i'm going to show you an example from r today because that's typically what i write a lot of but we got SQL, there's uh, tech for LaTeX, YAML, there's the web stack, Fortran, C, C++. I mean, you'd expect that with C tags. But what, is, what does C tags do? How can it like benefit you? So C tags is a really cool program. It generates a tag file and activates some key commands that make it easier to jump around to, or jump to definition. So what does that look like? So I'm gonna go to, uh, our tags ah, decided to break on me github our tags all right so we got some uh, I'm gonna remove the tags file all right so we have two things we have uh, app.r and main.r now if I do cat main it'll just see like a simple main function if I do cat app you know, it's just a couple, those three functions that were in the main function. Actually, I see a typo there. Fix that real quick. There we go. So we have those two files. There's three functions in app, and there are, there's one function calling all the others in main, which you can see there. So with these examples, we're actually gonna run C tags. So I'm going to run C tags and it takes an input argument. I don't use any flags at this point. I haven't seen any need to at this point for what I'm using it for, but we're also, we need to list a file that we're going to generate tags from because this is a code base. Um, if you were going to do something with nested folders and recursively, I think there is a dash capital R option for recursive, but either way, there is a recursive functionality because I've done this before on um, repos with nested directories but I just have everything at the same root level. I'm just gonna run C tags asterisk to just run it on all files. That's it, it's done. So what does it do? So now you can see I have this tags file. Now, if I open that tags file, it's got all this stuff. I don't have to touch, edit, modify, generate any of this. This is all done automatically. But what this does is that this makes this specific functionality available. So I'm gonna turn on screen key. There we go. So we have my app.r and main.r. So we have these, and now I wanna to jump to definition. Let's say we have a single main function, like if you're writing a C program, you have all these other C files, everything feeding into uh, your main C function, or any language really. I mean, I, this works with R and with a variety of other languages. So let's say, I'm in my main function, main, and let's say I have a lot of code going on. It's really busy, really messy. I'm walking into a brand new code base and I need to understand what is going on here. What does each of these functions do? How can I understand them? Maybe there's not a lot of comments and I want to just easily jump to like where the function is defined in another file even, not even in this same file, but in another file in this entire code base, I wanna jump exactly to where that function is defined, see its input arguments, see the logic that governs this uh, program. And let's do that. So if I'm on this function, I can be on build, run, close, whichever function. If I do control and then closing square bracket, it'll actually jump me to the file where it found that definition because I passed all of these files in as input arguments into C tags. Recursive functionality works and definitions across files works. So with that, I can jump immediately to where that function is defined and I can see the logic that this function is you know, giving. And so I, if I wanna jump back to where I was because I read what I needed to read, I can do control O. I like to think of that as going back out, control out. Uh, I can go back down to run, 
do control square bracket, jump to that definition, and it takes me right to that function. So the way I would use this is if you have a very large code base to manage or you're a brand new person walking into a code base that's very large, very complex, and you need to un incrementally understand it and walk through it, this would be a helpful way of reading things step by step as you come across them, easily jumping to definition, returning back, jump to the next one, return back, and don't lose your place. Because if I go through several like lists like this and I can go, now I don't have a lot of nested things in here, but if I repeatedly jump to multiple definitions and you did control O, it would back you out all of those different uh, directions. And I'm sure there's probably a way to jump forward back again but in any case, what I find this to be most useful for is you have a very large code base, you are walking into it, you need to understand it, and you can easily manage and understand things by going through things and reading the definitions of these functions. And this is just a simple little program, C tags. Now, if I go to sudo pacman dash s C tags, It's only a megabyte in size. It's a very small program with a lot of really great functionality. I haven't done anything with the flag options, honestly, because I haven't needed to. It easily just does everything I need it to just by helping me jump to definition. So with that, I hope you find this interesting. I hope you find it useful. If you've applied this in a, in a production environment or if you found a really cool use for this, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to see how you're using it. But for me, as I write more complex code or I walk into like a repo where I'm trying to understand a lot of pre-existing code I had no hand in writing, I would find this to be a very, very useful program. So yeah, please let me know if you've used it before, what you're using it for. And uh, before I go, thank you to Devin, who is my sponsor on Patreon. Thank you for supporting the channel. And everyone else, thank you for watching.